All right, this is Kevin McCain with Kevin McCain Studios and Idaho Art Classes. Welcome back, y'all. We're going to go ahead and talk to you a little bit more about some of the different uh, some of the different shapes. We've done cylinders. We've done uh, we've we've done the pyramid. We've done the, the cubes and boxes. Um, we're now going to do some cones. I was uh, we're not going to get so much into the as much today, but if I, if I draw a circle, how do we know that it's a sphere? Well, to show volume, a lot of times people will put two intersecting ellipses in there to show that it does have volume. So that's a notation to say, hey, this, this over here is a circle while this over here is actually a sphere. But we're going to do a triangle. So or a cone, pardon me, and with the cone we're going to start with a triangle. So just like we talked about with the pyramid, if I if I make one of my little triangles and I don't think that it's symmetrical, I can take this point and bring this down through the middle here. There's a wrinkle right there that's very unfortunate, but bring this straight down. And we need it to be 90 degrees, as close as possible, true corner. And then we can check to see, hey, is this thing actually symmetrical? Like this thing looked close, but didn't look like it, it, it is symmetrical. It looks like it's a little off. So again, I can take this and the point there and double check to see if this is the same distance here. It was close. Uh, not bad at all. So uh, we would then make sure this point is, is where, that, where the diagonal starts on both sides. You know, so we can go ahead and make sure that we've got a nice, a nice, a nice uh, triangle start just to make into a cone. Um, so yeah, this would be our, our triangle, our starting, our starting triangle. Uh, and then we have now this is our center line that we used. And again, if I was drawing this, this would stay very light so I could erase it. So no one would need to know. But then we could just go ahead and, and choose, you know, this is our major axis points. This is going to be the center of our ellipse. This becomes the minor axis points. These, this distance here, right to left, should be the same. And then this distance here, top to bottom, should be the same. They're close, but they're not quite the same. So let me double check that. They're really close, but I think this should be right, you know, right about there. But anyway, so what we would do to make an ellipse, we're going to go ahead and make this into a little C curve. This, and I'm going to draw all the way through the back of the. I'm going to draw the entire ellipse. This is going to have a C curve through here. This is that is going to, is going to be. This is going to be an arc through there. This is going to be an arc through here. Again, this this the where this bend is in this paper is unfortunate for my ellipse, but we would then go ahead and make that ellipse. And I could go ahead and take that all the way through this. You know, we could go ahead and describe that entire ellipse all the way through. Okay. All right, just like that. And so now we have, this is going to be this, the base of the cone where it's sitting on, on the table. And then this right here, would be that ellipse. Like so. And now we've got ourselves again a cone, like so, developed from developed from the uh, from the triangle. So this is a great way to to to, to deal with um, with cones. Again, if I was doing a cone that for some reason was tipped this direction, again I could go ahead and make sure that my triangle that I'm starting with is symmetrical. So this would need to be 90 degrees to, to this line. Um, 
not quite that kind of bent. That's better. Uh, so this would be there. Then we're going to take this, make sure that it's hitting that line right there. Make a make a, a definite commitment, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and again measure this here and measure this there and then that there okay and then so then we'd start we go off with again with a triangle that's this almost is an equilateral triangle but that it's a little symmetrical it's mirrored on both sides and again this would be the major axis points that on the on the the, the center line is where the minor axis points would be and so maybe we'll open this one up a little bit more uh, and maybe we'll see this like we actually trying to actually see the entire like this is on its side and we see all the way across the ellipse so we'll, we'll leave this one a little bit more this is supposed to be going behind and if you're not your eye might start to reverse this like you're seeing the bottom of it but it's supposed to be you know seen from the top and this is just showing where the footprint is but with this one we're actually going to show and we're going to keep the ellipse there uh, after we draw it so we're going to go ahead and come through here wait a minute, did I check this for right? yeah, it's a, it's a little just a little off um, and this one's also slightly off so we just bring this out a little bit more there we go that thing goes into my little hook as it goes around and through the ellipse this might need to open up just a tiny bit more like so this thing curves around through there right and then this one would curve around through there okay um seems like this one's opening up a little bit too much this one seems like that should be right about there and what we're doing we're trying to check the quadrants, check it right to left, uh, top and bottom, like this one seems like this one should push out just a little ways, maybe just a tiny bit more, just a scotch, just a smidgen, just a tad, a dash, a touch, whatever. Um, just like my grandma used to say when she was cooking there in the kitchen, she'd be like a dash of this and a touch of that sprinkle of this and man it was always good um so again this is a cone that we've developed again from a triangle so again it can be really easy you know when, when i say draw a triangle people don't break a sweat too much when i say draw a cone you know you can you can just see it as they're drawing and how how much how much stress they're going through and I understand because you know again I when I was first taught I wasn't taught this way it wasn't until later when I was in college where people were like why you know why are you making it so hard on yourself it's, it's very easy to digest a a, uh, a triangle and I'm like yeah it makes all kinds of sense why was I sweating it and again if you're using a major minor axis it's gonna really help your ellipses because that was the other thing that started to happen is the ellipses were all out of whack when I was drawing it and again Major, a major minor axis will cure or help so that you can draw much more accurate ellipses and just, you know, be, be able to just nail it a lot easier or get close enough where you're like, yeah, and people go, wow, did you use an ellipse template? And you're just like, no, I'm just that good, huh? Or you can just say, well, no, I just I got some really cool instruction. And, you know, what, however you want to say it, you know, whatever works with your personality. But the idea is 
is that it works, you know, use it. And so use this when drawing a cone or, you know, something like that. And it'll really help you out with your drawing. You guys take care. This has been Kevin McCain with Idaho Art Classes and Kevin McCain Studios. You all have a good day now. Bye-bye.